Hello and welcome back to the Necom walkthrough and today we are on part 2 of the thing. Quickly before we jump into this video, if you are new to the channel and aren't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and press notification so you don't miss any of my brand new content. But a lot more ESO content as well as Diablo 4 content to come out and is coming in the works as we speak. Also, consider dropping a like on this video if you're enjoying my content so far to show you a love and appreciate it to the channel so i know to keep on making fantastic content for you all with that all being said let's jump straight into part two of the necron walkthrough might need to sort my mic out a little bit hmm? yeah so currently i do think i played a little bit more from what we actually left on it in part one so basically we have now met up with alexander I'm not going to give any spoilers but we'll just play through it and see how it goes out once we jump into the game i don't know if i picked up some more skills from the last time i played or as you can see got our three crown spell which is nice and basically we're doing the companion Quest now for Alexander, the Fate Weaver Key, and you meet Alexander like just when you're walking around in Apocrypha. I'm not sure if that's where you meet him on every single card. If he's always in Apocrypha, or if he can be in different places for different people, but I found him in Apocrypha. So we're just doing his quest now. Might as well kill it in we've got XP scroll. I really like the fake power ability of it. Definitely overpowered. I'm not sure of it. Actually. It's balanced, it's balanced. But not too much, let me just turn do not disturb on so we don't get like a disco notifications going off like that. So we can actually morph the fake carbon now, so I'm thinking why is this last so we can get exhausting fake carbon or pragmatic? Why is a snare to damage enemies consuming crooks also increase the duration of snare strength or gain a damage shield while challenging a mute into us while the shield is active? Consuming crooks also reduce cost. I kinda like that idea of the pragmatic fake carver. I kinda wanna go for like a more tank build and DPS on like on the arcane is what ar this arcane is we are currently playing, so let's see how that works. Shield up, why not? Activate that on my spirit demon. And then cancel it. Yeah, I kind of like that. That works quite well. Do we not have a crown scroll already on? Because I swear we just collected one. What am I about here? Yeah, sign that way. Just so we can use it once our 11 minute one runs out, so I kind of really want to level up my Necromancer as far as we can. Shit, not Necromancer, sorry guys, I'm an Arcane. I always keep saying that Necromancer is an Arcane, I don't know why. So me, it's Sander in the Underweave. So I'm guessing like the third shot is like that one. Where does like the um, circular thing? I don't know if these guys are meant to attack you or they only attack you when you attack them. But still, the guy making me nervous, not gonna lie. Might as well help out them. If they're attacking him. How long have we got us? Nothing. Uh, keep casting guys, we should have us. It's sort of like a mini boss this guy, I'm not gonna lie. Well these are these like absolutely are mini bosses. I mean, like, some, 
and then you actually got a fight with him, so, so. I have killed him once before, you don't seem to get the best equipment, but you get decent stuff. Please tell me I'm not the only one fighting him at the moment. I need more help. There's always like dots on you know, I don't know how you actually kill him. I don't think I do. There's so much shit that have in this boss but I don't think I do. Adamant Lurker Shield. I don't know why you'd be standing still, but we'll take it. We don't have the set already, so we can add it to our collection. Oh, so, right, we're at the place we need to be. I'm not going to take that because we're already doing one at the moment. No, no, no! The Master of Secrets will. I'm just going to have a quick drink. <clears throat> Hope everyone's okay and having a great day so far though. Also guys, but we're getting in further in this video. If you had checked out the Nikon chapter on the Arcanus, so let me know down in the comment section below how you enjoy the Arcanus on the current Necron chapter at the moment. I'm guarantee you'll probably do some change to the next one, but you think the uh, Arcanus is overpowered just balanced or too weak let me guys let me know down in the comment section guys what you guys think i think it's sort of balanced some abilities do quite a lot of damage so i don't know maybe it could do some balances to like the fake car for example i think that's quite a bit broken i also think it's sort of balanced it depends whether you're going to probably be using it for pvp or pv but let's speak to some to labor the obvious but we'll need to be careful here. We should make haste to the heart of the Underweave and find Martina's Sanctum. Onward and upward! How do we find Martina's Sanctum? The Fate Weaver key is palpitating. Pulling me... Off to the east? Fascinating. Uh, something in Martina's Sanctum must be synergizing with the relic. Let's find that laboratory. Right, to the heart of the Underweave. That is good, so. I guess there will be some quite decently hard things. I feel like this is more like a yeah, it is a public dungeon. I think I don't know. Yeah, yeah, public dungeon. Um, the sky shard is there, but I'm not really sure how you get to it. So we'll suss that out together, I guess. But I do want to get it before we leave. To check out the job tag. Looks like I just forgot something. I'm gonna use shoes like I kinda like that skill and I might not have wasted it. I do like it. And I do really like the visuals for this. Consume five twenty-five unearth veil and wood ceilings to unlock the great oak from little air consume and the great rat oak squirrel pet. Hmm, interesting. 
I'm not sure if what's like RNG drop or it's quite easy to get. I remember a lot of bit of uh, the room car ability doing like yesterday, so I'm not sure. Oh, well, let me read what that does actually, to be fair. After a series of profitable rooms before launching on out of pearl dealing 1542 magic damage and 1695 magic damage and... I don't know, I feel like that's bulked. I don't know why it does quite a lot. Why it does like... Three separate pieces of addiction type of the room that I built. Fake card is quite a good one. There we go. I don't really need that either. I just love what I built this so much, it's so good. I think it's called Fake Car, yeah, Pragmatic Fake Car. Just a normal bit that I love as well, to be fair. I'm not sure if you're actually meant to deal with other people, but we're kind of solo in it for the most part. Could do with some heals and some help from Alexander, to be fair, but. I'm pretty much sure to. Um, I don't need to go up there for the sunlight. I'm not sure it's stunning to it. Easy. Could be quite too much. I don't know if we have a reinforced I just want to collect that for research to be fair on this character. By the way, if you're questioning how the hell we have 37k at the moment, it's because I took it out of the bank or so I can upgrade this character later on when needed. Grease in the bank, but I don't know. Might see if we actually have anything to destroy in the bank, or probably not. Uh, should be fine for now. Um, should be getting close to the sky shard. Yeah, I believe it's just two. Oh, bold, it's an up there. How do we get up there? Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I've been playing that con, I've been getting lost. I guess we'll switch it out though. But, but it's just that how you get there. We'll just come right back to where we started though. We can't go up there. I wonder if you can go up the stop or not. Oh, that's where you meant to go. Sorry about that. 
Yeah, I don't even think you're meant to be in here. So even our quest marker says not to come into you. Yeah. <coughs> Right, well, but I don't know how you get up or... Imagine you come up the stairs and you can get up or I'm not really too sure. No, because that would be the wrong way that way, so... I feel like it's all this way. I have to know it a bit and then loop back round. Hmm. Probably. Before it actually came on, people like said, "Oh, it's going to be so hard to use gently, but it's not like oh, I'm going to like get in the line." Attack him is unless we need to really. I believe we're in a sanctum, I think. Some is it? Not really too sure. Mm. So I've got a lot of kick up as well.
This must be it. Oh, this is it. Knock, Martina. I'm guessing she's probably gonna be a boss, I would imagine. Don't Damn it! Until he's Martina. Here. Dead. I'll let you go and just leave it on the like, screen hoped. for you guys who want to read it. There you go. The most oh, Jesus, that was actually quite a long book. There you go. Take a look around, if you don't mind. I I'll let you read it. So just feel free to pause the video if you want to read these books. That's that one. Right, I'll just go back to that page. There you go. And we'll just get back to the quest. There's a back part there, so... Don't really need clean water. So, I'll let you read this one as well, guys. Martina so was a zealous note-taker. That may be helpful to our inquiry. No idea what that concoction is. Curious. Oh, God, stunning. Perhaps you... Come, come. Let's talk. I uh, wish I could say this was the first time I found an old friend dead. But I cannot. From the spell lattice surrounding them, I believe Martina's research may have followed a similar path to my own. Let's take a look at that journal. I'm sorry, Sandra, and you're right. The journal talks about Martina's fate for rain like yours. Hmm. Martina says here she could somehow scry for the fates freed from her timeline. Fascinating. She experimented with several different methods, uh, including using her own blood. It's messy, dangerous, but. Perhaps effective. Is there any way we could do it? Yes, yes, I believe so. I have some thoughts that need to germinate, and I'd like to dispel this ward. Take care of Martina. <clears throat> Let's retire to my rooms at Cypher's Midden, near the Way Shrine. I'll see you there, my canny colleague. All right, and Sander, I'll see you at Cypher's Midden. I'll see you back at Cypher's Midden, my. I hope I can honor yeah. Martina's memory Are we able somehow. to put the Sky Shard going I'll see you back way. at Cypher's Midden. Oh, so... I guess we have to go through here. That's the only way I can imagine. Oh, what achievement is that? Let me just have a look at what achievement we just got there. Journal, also. We just level 10 of our kin. Is it not seriously an achievement in this game? Why? Oh, we can upgrade our room then to heal us for additional amount of time or healing low health targets when it's an ultimate. Oh, we get that one, but I'm not really sure how they won't work. I kind of like the, the idea of what one's I'm not actually just swap what one at all. But what one, because I feel like that could be better. Ooh, that's nice. Oh no, I don't know. Like it. Yeah, that seems cool. I mean, it looks cool and it also seems to actually do what I want to do, so. I don't need to come around here. I'm just trying to find it. Because that was just taking too long, and I just didn't fancy spending the whole entire video just looking for one sky shard. Well, I'll probably go for it. Oh, for all song completions, so such like Delph and Public Dungeons and Dungeons like that. After I've done the main story for now, come and then moving forward through all the other chapters. Because obviously I don't want the video to be too long doing that. I'll do sky shards and stuff, but 
And I'm also just focus on actual like the main story rather than and quest rather than just doing like side activities such as like devils. Even though devils are still important, like you can get important gear and stuff like that. Uh, you know what, I might as well just travel there, so just to save time. Pocket, it can get a bit confusing of where you need to go. Not gonna lie. <sighs> My arms hurt loss. Hurt quite a bit from last night. During the gym workout. You know, it weren't really arms we did. We'd also do arms as well. Let me also, guys, let me know down in the comment section what is your favourite companion so far. I've only usually used Ember and Mary at the moment, so I'll probably say Ember's my favourite, but I'm looking forward to picking up a sun and testing him out. Martina's research lives on. I believe with further development, I can adapt her methods and modify the Fate Weaver key itself. But let's crawl before we walk. First, we confirm. If scrying for frayed fates is even possible. Why are we scrying for your frayed fates? It's time to put my failure behind me. So far, the fates have come to me. With Martina's research, we can scry for one, find it, and shut it down. What do you think of that? Sounds good. What's our first step? This is why you make a good collaborator. Your focus. I place in your hands the Fate Weaver key. Still flawed, unfortunately, but newly modified thanks to Martina's notes. Follow along with me, and we'll seek out a frayed fate. Let's get started. Observe this thaumaturgical quadrant. Gripping the key, activate each of the beacons. I just thought I just went through A shipwreck? Wait, that must be Fathom's Drift. Superlative! The Drift is in the far north of the region. I'll meet you there. Okay. So where are we off now? To the drift. Oh my god, that's quite far away. Dude. I just learned, don't even want to attack the watchers here as well because they're basically part of like, the police system in this area. So you attack them, you basically get the police off you. I don't know why I say police, I meant guard, sorry guys. Right, it feels like I can't play the other one like eh, well ever played it by saying that, but well, you know what I mean. Hmm. 
thinking of more of a modified zombie sort of thing rather than a farmer because I don't believe farmer actually use magic. Can we cut through that? I feel like I need to go around this cliff to be fair. I'm going to go through the water though. Not too sure. Like the water's a wrong shot, so I'm not really too sure. I think we have to go around the mountain. You know, like world boss to be fair. I might give the world boss a shot if it doesn't have too much health. I'm feeling quite confident in taking world soloing world bosses. Definitely feels more like this is the correct direction than the way we were going previously. Well, bosses I think below us, maybe. Definitely need some stamina plus when I get my st starters gear when I get CP level. Well, basically level 50, so CP. Here. I don't really know. What I'm gonna go for. I'll probably watch a build on what skills to actually get. Because I kind of really want to go for a tank and healer build with the Arcanist. Because I don't even actually have a tank build currently or a healer build even on any of my character, I don't think. So I'm gonna test it out and see how it goes. I'm just gonna run past that watcher. Actually, found the sky shadow we can actually get. Well, I hope we can get to this one. It's not like that other one we can get to. Come on, come on, dude, you can jump up there. Oh, God, for that. I think we can go down there. We shouldn't have died because that's actually the area we need to get to. Hopefully he doesn't kill us or there's no slaughter just nearby. Never mind, it's a bit of shit. Slaughtered by tentacles, well. I unlocked the achievements so here, huh? Oh, it's something. I also discovered a new wish run here as well, so that death actually is useful. I've got some of the weirdest achievements in my game so far. I've just done some stupid silly stuff for this so I wish I could an achievement. Asanda, where are you? There he is. Away, you pestering phantom. You're here. Blast these frayed fates. Let's get in there and turn theory into practice, eh? Smooth these things back into the universe. How do we smooth your fates back into the universe? First, we enter the drift and find the darn thing. The fate weaver key in your able hands will lead us where we need to go. Now properly attuned, it should allow you to tug on the threads that bind my fate to me. So we follow these threads, what well, then? We use the Fate Weaver key itself to bind this frayed fate back into the fabric of the universe. Now, I'm not... Well, to be totally honest, I'm not exactly sure what that will look like. But we're armed with a dead friend's knowledge. We'll see it done. Alright, let's see it done. Into the drift! Huzzah! Yeah, it looks like we've got to go into the delve. I had a feeling we'd end up going into the delve, to be fair, for some reason. Not that I have a problem with delve, it's just... 
like it'll probably be a sky shadow. I'll probably end up spending another 20 minutes trying to get it. And I'm just like, oh my god, I don't have a clue how to get it. I do get it, but I overcomplicate actually getting it. Do you get what I mean? The faint weaver key will be our guide. See, be a the nearby great faint. Oh, we're gonna touch. Beam him up, why not? We have the ability, that's what it's there for. Just beam him up. That's our motto, guys. You just need to beam him up, just beam him up. Call him that as well, so I like that ability as well. I like all of the abilities. It's really cool. Why well, do I need to go to now? Why is my Sander? Because anyone would be probably using a Sander themselves, so I don't actually know which one's mine. Martina's work. My research. It's working. There we go. Spite Ward, which one's that one? Oh, that one. Nice, I'm looking forward to a good enough to be fun. Onward and upward, as always. Great cover beam. There we go. I don't know if it was actually part of the delve and like the ramp. I think I see something. Part of the mission for Sendor. <laughs> That's what I meant you stuff, I can't remember if I put it on stuff a little while ago. <laughs> Could be you running around on to a star. Yeah, I forgot to put it on. I think it was um that one you yeah. There we go. Should do a bit more damage now with the inferno star. Look there! This distortion is a frayed fate. Let's pull this situation into focus. Well the deck is at there. Stop lollygagging, Azander. I'm tired of all this. What? A sailor? How odd. I haven't wanted to be a sailor since I was a child. Bilge rats and stale bread. I'll never make it to first mate. Who's this guy? Ah, such potential. Stronger now. Twitching tentacles, what is that? Are we trapped here? I grow stronger. Quicker, use the key. These room forms should banish that thing. We will not be undone. It worked. Oh, I wasn't sure it would. What we just witnessed. Oh, distressing, horrid, disconcerting. Apologies, cohort. I'm free associating to deal with my emotions. Are you alright? Of course. Yeah, just processing. Tem, it seems, was telling the truth. Afraid fate has grown in strength somehow. Become adversarial. What do we do now? Allow me to take back the Fate Weaver key. Hmm. I'll need to consider this new information. The introduction of this adversary into the experiment was unforeseen. Let's reconvene in my room at Cypher's Midden. Sounds good, I'll see you.
Can we just TP back out and meet him there? Yeah, I don't mind paying 57 gold again to get that, it's not that much. Just made it a trip back all easier, <laughs> you get what I mean guys. I kind of got like accustomed to spending gold, now a bit on way shrines, I don't feel like I always need to spend gold on other stuff. Bikes, bike storage is obviously, um, bank storage is useful but it's just got so expensive at this point. Now it's like, my next bank storage was like nearly like 150k so I need to start doing some money making methods again. Right, we should have a lot of sand. I'm not sure how long this quest goes on for. Ah, there you are. Come, let's talk. I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Ebullient. Incredible. Somehow, my experiment seems to have created a new, previously unseen mystic phenomenon. One frayed fate consumed the other by means and for reasons unknown. I'd be even happier if it didn't want me dead. Ha! <laughs> You're, you're excited that you created a thing that wants you dead. Yes! I mean, would I prefer this adversary enjoy a strenuous argument over a pot of tea? Without a doubt. But you have to understand, I believe the Fate Weaver experiment was an abject failure. So the fact that the experiment created anything is exciting to you? Indubitably. And mark me well, this discovery would not have been possible without your insights and abettance. We make a superlative research duo, you and I. But I haven't had a competent cohort in some time. Thanks, Asanda. So you're going to continue looking to look into his adversary? I must. My fate is still frayed, after all. It must be restored and this dark being dealt with. But now, a question for you. Would you be willing, if you have the time and inclination, to continue our collaboration? Sure, let's cut. Let's keep working together on your project. Together, my that new cohort, so so we began the quest. work of understanding the nature of fate. We put an old friend to rest. And someday soon, we'll repair the key. But for now, accept my promised coin with enthusiastic thanks. Complete Onward! Course. Together, cohort, we will accomplish stupendous things. Remarkable things. For research! Spite ward of the Lucid Mine, consume crooks to refund cost. Doesn't seem like you, so definitely drastically increase the size of the damage shed for the second. Per second. I can do a lot more. So now we've unlocked Sandar. If we go there, we can use Sandar. There we go. Um. Is this our son the Ah, yes, I'm here. Hmm. Ooh, so let's read his per companions per Cassandra's inquiry notes. As when searching contains there's as a chance to go research portfolios. Portfolios can contain crafting recipes, treasure maps, research and survey reports and other documents of value. That's actually really, really good. I kind of wish I had the Inferno stuff to give him. Let's have a look at his skills. So the first class is Unsquill Knight. So we've got Scaphy Ruin. So I'm using runic techniques to turn that enemy to attack when we apply minor maim to them for 15 seconds. But it does have a long cooldown. I'm thinking... That was the first one. And then... That was second. Don't really need rejuvenation. So let's have a look at his costumes. Kinda want him to wear the same one as me. No, I kind of like his default outfit, to be fair. I think I'm going to end the video here, guys. So that's how you unlock a sander. We've just done 
the whole entire quest to unlock him. I hope you found it useful. If so, please consider dropping a like on the video to show your love and appreciation to the channel. Part 2 will be sometime after this video uploads. So I'm going to work on it now. I think I'm going to end the video here so part 2 of the next one thing isn't too long so we'll move on to that quest now but I'll start recording that quest now I will and both of these videos will hopefully be up on the channel tonight by 9pm so stay tuned for this one and the next one walkthrough of the main story part 2 and with that all being said I'll see you in the next video once again if you are new to this channel and not already subscribed yet please consider subscribing and putting notifications so you don't miss any of my brand new videos I've got a lot more coming to you so come in the next one chapter so you don't want to miss it it's all going to be good and peace out guys